Morning folks and welcome back to the channel and take me to your paradise from life here in the Morven Lounge. Joining me this morning, a good man, Mr. Ryan Clifford, Mr. Alan Stullen, and we welcome back the man of two tactics, Mr. William Glavin. Well, William, I see he's on the Monday night dialing, mate, that um, this is probably your big test, this one, because we were on the Dortmund game and, <laughs> and uh, I'm beginning to think if we get gubbed again, it's your fault. There's, you're no, pressure, there's <laughs> no pressure. There's no pressure. I hope you're well, mate. It's good no, to see you. No, I'm good. I, I, listen, thanks for having us back, especially after the, the Dortmund uh, episode. <laughs> the tobacco, uh, shall the we say. The tobacco. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to address that, to be fair. <laughs> I stand by I stand by what I said about Borussia Dortmund that night. I just think that we just didn't play well at all when executed Aye. the game plan that was meant to have been done. In that game, and too many basic errors had been made, I think yeah. it's clear for everybody to see. But in terms of Dortmund, I think that, that they do have some issues there. I think they went and get beat off Union Berlin the weekend, no, the, the game after the, the Celtic mm -hmm. uh, match. And I think they scraped a win last week against St Pauli at home. So they, they are sort of struggling, but we just, didn't, we, we, just, we, just didn't, we just didn't take advantage of it that night. And um, listen, we just need to sort of dust ourselves down and, and obviously move on to the next game, which is obviously, in my opinion, probably a tougher test yeah. um, tomorrow night. And Alan, it is good to get William back on the show, mate. Ah, of course. Well, some of the, although they <laughs> might have not been what happened that night, <laughs> which we, we regret. But by the way, I predicted this to uh, win, so I'm, I'm way over your feet. So by the way, I got the team right that night. I'll give you, you give me credit so, for that. One. <laughs> some of the tactics that William discussed obviously got into depth. Uh, it's very, very kind of entertaining and. Uh, it's good knowledge to have uh, going into these kind of games, yeah. so it's, it's, it's very interesting to, to listen to and for you guys to watch as well. Uh, so <clears throat> let's hope we, we get a better result this time than we did the <laughs> yeah. last time, because I don't feel we're getting scalped with a big stick at Atlanta, what like we did Aye. with Brussel Dortmund the last time, so here's hope we, we can improve uh, on that. I don't think it'll be mm -hmm. very hard to improve if yeah. we could beat any worse than 7-1. Yeah. I think it'll be sent us all, all to the bridge, you know what I mean? We'll all be kind of <laughs> going to Costco for our multi-packs and the best of us bleach. Uh, I think we'll all be beating Ryan to the queue, so aye, let's just hope, but be positive and hopefully we can we can manage to get a respect, mm. respectable result, even if that's not uh, a draw or a win, just keep it respectable, yeah. I think. And Ryan, obviously, as the lads were saying there, obviously, we're having a joke with William there, but Alan was saying about the mess off. You were late on this morning, you know, I'm assuming that's what you were away doing. Uh, yeah, I had a, wee, had a wee phone call with Costco again last night to, just to make sure I've had it in for, for, for uh, Wednesday night. Cause they promised you a selfie with you all yet in there? No, it was uh, Maeda. Oh, right, uh, okay. he, was in, he was in getting his um, Duracell batteries, so. I didn't have. But uh, no, I think I agree with William in terms of it beforehand. I did. I did say we would get beat against Dortmund, but I didn't expect uh, the performance that we did put in. And I agree with William as well in terms of we weren't, uh, as much as Dortmund were good, very, very good, we kind of gave them a lot of space and we gave them a lot of freedom yeah. to, to do what they wanted, really. Guys like Julian Brandt had a free roll and it was it was actually hard to watch. I, I kind of felt sorry for the players. You're thinking, this is seven, this could be eight, this could be nine. And, I think if it was anywhere than seven, it would even worse yeah. um, in terms of being kind of criticising against them. So, but I think I agree with William. I think tomorrow will be a harder game. Um, obviously, William's got a lot of stuff about Atlanta in terms of the way they're playing this year and how they're doing and certain players, how they're, how they're reacting to um, this season. So, I've got to remember as well, they won the Europa League last year as well. So, <laughs> I know Dortmund won the Champions League, but this Atlanta team is still a very, very good team. And, um, going to Italy, it doesn't matter who you're playing in Italy, it could be Girona, Bologna, whoever it is, any team in Italy, but very hard to go and get a victory, so yeah. I'm going to go with Alan as well, mm. let's just try and get a performance, if we if we do go and get beat, at least be competitive, at least show that, no that you're not trying, that you're actually getting somewhere, because the Dortmund game just looked like there was nothing there, and let's just hopefully um, we can get a good, a good result if possible, but at least a very, at the very least a good performance. Yeah, and a wee birdie told me it's your birthday today, mate, as well. It is, mate, it is. we've got you wee fresh arms there. Uh, we're going to get you a pint. You've I like how it's a hard pint, that because I'm tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're getting to that age, now. you're getting a bit older now, mate, so we didn't want, you, didn't want to fog you up too much. We'll try to run this wee show here. You're burning out of that toilet if I got you a full pint. So, uh, well, we've obviously ran touching on the, the, the Dortmund game there. Yeah. We all watched it, mate. Um, I think we could see the... The amount of mistakes that Celtic yeah. made, I mean, right for the get-go, first two minutes was just an onslaught, it was like the, the Alamo. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then it just snowballed to there and before you know it we were 2-1, 3-1 down and then by that time the game gets away for you but I just feel William that you should not be going in at half time 5-1 down mate and there was just so many mistakes it's hard to go right back through them all there was yeah. just that many mistakes every goal I think was a mistake wasn't yeah. it I think every goal was created by us in terms of not doing something or doing something wrong really um, looking back on the game and like, I think you're right I think it's really demoralising 5-1 at half time you know we just sort of cancelled out or scored against Slovan mm -hmm. Bratislava that great goal difference we had yes. and it really propelled us up the table obviously, obviously after the first game but we really just sort of cancelled that out in the first half which is really really disappointing and I think the thing for me was that players were really making bad mistakes eh, sorry bad decisions mm -hmm. that were leading to the mistakes you know Maeda tried to turn inside mm -hmm. right in the edge of his box and then they take the ball off and oh. score and just giving away soft soft like soft goals at times don't get me wrong <clears throat> every time Dortmund got the ball they punished us but at that level we actually said that in that mm -hmm. episode like if and we had to be on it 100% yeah. that night if we're not on it you're punished and yeah. I think we really just obviously got punished that night heavily because of this amount of mistakes we were making yeah and obviously that's now today why we're here yeah is our next Champions League adventure our which next is over in Italy against yeah. Atalanta Europa League winners from last season um, <laughs> what do we know about Atalanta? Atalanta, wow. So I, I actually believe this is a harder game than the Dortmund the game. Dortmund even game. even when the draw was made, I felt the Atalanta and the game in Bergamo is going to be a tough, tough challenge for Celtic. In a, in a snapshot, Gasparini is obviously the manager. And Piero Gasparini is the manager there, and he basically took over the job, really tried to keep them in Serie A, mm. but he's actually managed to propel them to one of the big hitters in, in Italy at the minute. Yeah. Um, <coughs> they obviously got to the Europa League final last year. <coughs> were quite close to obviously winning it. They, sorry, they did win it. Sorry, not Tom. Leverkusen obviously got beat, um, but they actually done great to win it. Obviously, uh, Lukman had an, an amazing game. Mm -hmm. He's had a bit of a resurgence going to Italy since he's moved to Leipzig in Germany. Um, so the Europa League champions, they're, they're really going to be really tough to play against. Gasparini has really created a, a sort of style and a philosophy about really high energy football in terms of with the ball and without the ball. So they're really going to hit us really hard in terms of that pressing intensity. Mm -hmm. I actually, in my opinion, and I'm happy for anybody to try and correct me on it or challenge me on it, I think they're the best man marking team in world football. And I think, and I don't think that's under, underestimated. This is a team that they know, everybody knows their role within the team without the ball. And they engage man to man with your, with their pressing. You do, you'll know see their striker you know, pressing the defender, then running to the right back or the left back. Mm -hmm. The winger will do that. So he stands off and stays in that position. And any midfielders that come up, they tend to always sit really, I mean, it's almost touch tight they're on you. So this is why I believe this is such a tough challenge for us tomorrow night, is to try and how do we, how do we deal with that pressure? How do we negate that press that they're going to basically influence on us? So, um, as I said, th they're going to be a really tough challenge tomorrow night, definitely. And also, Ryan, just as William <coughs> says there, <laughs> they're one of the best man Martin teams and, and as William explained that wee bit there their striker stays put mm -hmm. their wingers then going now we had trouble in Dortmund against that high intensity press we had a game mm -hmm. the boy uh, what's the boy's name on the, was over on the was it Gittins, yeah, Gittins I boy Gittins in the left Gittins. wing and then big Garassi mm -hmm. through the centre and we gave the ball away needlessly yeah for Coming up against a team as Williams just described there, mate, we are going to have to keep the ball a hell of a lot better if we're going to get any joy in this game. Yeah, I think obviously in European football, you've got to keep the ball um, any game really to, to win, but when you're playing against better opposition, if you don't keep the ball, like we spoke for the Dortmund game, you're going to get punished. Um, and I think by just Williams describing that there, if you get the ball away, I think they'll actually punish you bigger than Dortmund yeah. because the way mm -hmm. they're playing, Dortmund kind of sat off you a bit and just when you give the ball away they just played about and played it through but when it sounds it, if they get the ball as soon as they get the ball it's forward and boom mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and they're away and we've not got a lot of pace at the back especially without Carter Vickers Trusty can be a wee bit quick for what I've seen but compared to some of the, the strikers that you see in Europe it's, it's quite a big comparison um, Ajax Faye Johnson they all need to be on their game I think overall everybody's probably going to have a game of life. Um, I don't want to go towards like the Barcelona game type that, that we, we need to be like that, but 
it's going to be a massive effort and if we can get a performance and get a result out of this then it's probably going to go down as one of Brendan Walsh's biggest ever um, wins for Celtic or draws or whatever it was because I, I've not got much hope and that's no that's no me no wantingness to win or get a, I'm just you're just going on what's happening like I say la, like yeah, I said before yeah. Dortmund yeah. the evidence shows especially away from home that we've no we've no go at it we've no get the arm we've no got the manpower to go toe to toe with these guys so you, you need to try and do something and I don't think he will I think he's going to go full free free he's going to go and try and win the game which obviously he should be doing but you need to try and get a result it's all about getting a result yeah. and for me if we go the way that I think we're going to go I'm probably earning it to go to Costco tonight and get, get me a bleach <laughs> I love coming in here it's a real laugh <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> hey, can, we, can we get a wee bit of positivity before we're on we might score a goal we uh, might get a goal we might score <laughs> no, a goal you I'm, don't have words right now Alan I'm being realistic as well it is going to be a massively difficult task uh, there's no no doubt about that no shadow of a doubt without, uh, about that but We'd need us to be on the top of our game. We need Atalanta to be maybe a bit off the game. I have an, have an off night, yeah. And we need a lot <coughs> of the kind of rubbing the green as well, a bit yeah. of luck. Uh, it, it can happen. It has happened in the past. It has happened for other teams in Europe as mm. well in the past. Recently as well for other teams that are maybe not expected to win in Europe, managed mm. somehow to get a result. But I'm hoping that Brendan changes it up a bit. Uh, I'm not expecting them to go change it to the way that we played against kind of Barcelona. But there's got to be some middle ground be- be- uh, between the way we play mm-hmm. in the league just now yeah. and the way we set up against I, Barcelona. I think we need to find some somewhere in the middle there uh-huh. that we're comfortable with that we can maybe get a result that we're not getting absolutely scalped. And for me, I think coming out of this game, as long as it's no more than a kind of 2-0 deficit, I'd be quietly happy because you're keeping that kind of respectability. The way Celtic have played the last few games, we're questioning, has, that, has the Dortmund game had a massive kind of knock on your confidence? Mm. It, it probably has. It probably it has. 7-1, I think that uh, it it's, would. It's maybe give them a knock yeah. and they're, like, they're questioning themselves again. So mm-hmm. we, can, we can't afford to go in and get another kind of 6-7 uh, result. Uh, we need to keep it at a respectable level. Uh, and for me, no matter how we do it, no matter how hard it's going to be to watch, we need to keep it tight. Mm-hmm. We need to make sure we're frustrating them. We need to find a way to frustrate them, find a way that it's possible to get a result or get a respectable result. And for me, that's not the way that we play uh, kind of week in, week out. We play week in, week out, going toe to toe with teams. Yeah. It's like we're better players. The reality of the matter is that teams like this have got better players than us mm-hmm. and we need to find a, a different a different manner, a different way to get to them. We need to find a way to frustrate them and a way to possibly get a result. And for me, I, I think if Brendan doesn't change it slightly, I think the fans will massively be on his back because we're, we're kind of fed up getting these hidings kind of yeah, year on year. I that. think as Alan's saying there, William, mm-hmm. I think what we're asking for, I don't think a lot of Celtic fans are asking for that much when we ask, all we want is the Champions League music to start and then Celtic not to get hammered. Because that just seems to be, once a season, we go somewhere away and we well. take an abs- yeah. Yeah, away yeah, from home yeah. and we take an absolute blitzing. Yeah. So, I think we're asking for a wee bit of competitiveness I, and that comes with mm-hmm. the manager having to make some changes mm-hmm. within the team. Now, I know he probably, I'm with I don't think he will, mm-hmm. but that's obviously not what the fans want to hear. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I think we're just really cautious now that this that Dortmund result could possibly happen again. Yeah, I think so. I think um, looking at Atalanta, how, how they are at the minute, they've got injury issues at the minute just now. So Skamaka, who was a big player for them last yeah. year, that helped them get to Europa League um, to obviously win that tournament, he's out long term. They've got Kalasnic, who used to be at Arsenal, but people will probably remember side Kalasnic at Arsenal. It's actually been playing quite well for them just now, but he's a, a doubt tomorrow. I think he's got a fever or something like that. And they've also got two centre backs that are out just now, so they're struggling a wee bit with this. They generally play with this sort of back three that maybe drops into like a five, like the full backs or the wing backs will drop uh-huh. back in there. Um, 
But the last couple of games they've played, they've played with a back five. I think it's because of the injury problems they've got here. So Martin Darun, who's normally a midfielder, he's dropped back into this right wing, this sort of right wide centre back position. Mm -hmm. um, they've got Hein and Dimitri, who are centre backs. They've come in. Zappa Costa, you probably remember from Chelsea. Chelsea yeah. He's their left wing back. They've actually got Bellanova, who they signed this year, who's actually a midfielder, is actually playing as a right wing back. Um, and I think they've gone, they're going to have Pazilic, who's a really good footballer. Nice. He's he's, he's a tremendous class. player. And Ederson, who's came on to a really good game for them, the Brazilian lad. Those are the two centre midfielders. And then obviously you've got Lookman on the, the left for them. Retuigui, who's a player I'll, I'll touch on a wee bit later. Mm -hmm. He's been banging in all sorts of goals in Serie A. And De Catelier, who they've signed from Milan, who they had there last year on loan. He was at Club Bruges as well, wasn't I think he was. I think he started off at Club Bruges. Yeah. So Charles De Catelier's on the wide. So that's the sort of setup they're going to be. But as I said, they might, they might drop into that five, but they might look at Celtic and go, do you know what? Celtic are a wee bit open at times. We'll just play 3-4-3 three, three, mm -hmm. and, and look to, to play their usual way. So the way Atalanta set up in terms of how they play in their game, and it's, it's actually really clever how they do it, what they'll try and do is they'll, they'll, they'll tend to have the, the sort of right wing back either side, basically, but let's take the right side of the field mm -hmm. for, for talking sake. They'll basically get the centre back and the right wing back and the midfielder. They'll rotate. This is something that Andrew used to do, this rotations of positions and things like that. So you would look at the right wing back, he would probably push forward, they'll maybe bring the midfielder over to here and try and suck the Celtic centre mids into yeah. this position. If they knock the ball at the centre back, they've got a direct line over to their striker. Do they play direct? Like they, they can't, they've all played direct down yeah. the middle. So what they'll try and do is, they'll try and bring the Celtic players, if it's, say it's Hitati or whoever's over here, Maeda or whatever, they'll try and bring them over so that they're picking up these men play the ball back to the centre backs and then look to go direct to the Twigui or even find maybe something like Pasolich or Edison in the midfield they'll try and go through the middle but you watch if you watch the game tomorrow night you'll see it the movement is so fluid no one really sits in the mm -hmm. you, the, you know, the, the number 8 basically don't yeah. sit in 8 position they'll maybe go wide at some points I've seen it as well when Martin Darun plays here he might be back here tomorrow night but Martin Darun will drop into centre back and then he'll then push up and then they'll push through the middle that all rotates round. So it's how Celtic manage that in terms of doing their handover. So who's picking up who, you pick up him. But what it tends to do is when they do this rotation down the wide side, it leaves a massive space here in the middle because the Celtic players are all trying to fly, mm -hmm. pick up men. Yeah. So that's going to be a challenge tomorrow night in terms of when Atalanta have got the ball. Um, they've obviously got some, they've actually got Ben Godfrey in from Everton who actually could play centre back, but for some reason it seems to be sticking with Darun. Probably because he maybe trusts him. Martin Darun's been there a while. He's been the experienced yeah. player, and I think Gasparin obviously trusts him in that sort of role. But also, as I said, Darun won't sit here all night. He'll probably drop in here at points and things like that uh -huh. as well. So that's going to be a challenge in itself when they've got the ball. When Celtic have the ball, and this is my worry, if we approach the game, and this is only my opinion, but if we approach the game the way we normally play, and we start from the back and we play the build up football and knock it into Gregor and Hitati and play here, I think we've got a problem. Because this team, as I said, touched on earlier, are the best man Martin team in world football for me. Because they engage early, quick, high intense. If the ball goes to trust their scales here at the back, Retwigi is going to be on them. Alex Valle is going to have the Catalair on him, and I mean on him, touch tight. And then when the, what, what will tend to happen is McGregor, Hitati, um, will we'll probably try and drop into this point here to pick up on the ball. Mm -hmm. You're going to have Ederson and Pazlic on you. So we would have to be very, very, very good to play short passes and play through the, the, that think, line of pressure. Do you think then, as, as much as I don't think he's been shown much so far, I know he's scored a few goals, but do you think then that it could be a game to play Adam Eden stretch him? Possibly. Possibly, I think, mate. I think, I think he'll go Kyogo, to be honest, because Kyogo can, can stretch. He'll, mm. he'll, his he'll, his movement good. is really good. That's the thing about Kyogo. His movement, will, he'll cause disruption in their line. He'll try and make runs down into here or into here and He'll cause problems for the three at the back. He will give them issues. But what I'm trying to say is... If it's getting the bottom. It's getting the bottom. But also, if we take the approach that we're going to play through the lines of pressure, which we normally do in Scotland, and we do it really, really well, every ball needs to be bang on because this team are on you. And I mean on you mm -hmm. straight away. I think it probably does need to be more direct, whether it's Kyogo or Ida, or even direct out to the wide areas to try and get in behind the wing-backs when they're obviously pushed up. I think it's going to be probably a game of transitions, to be honest. I think it's going to be, and Atalanta going forward, they're good in transition because you touched on it, I think, earlier, saying that they are rapid in terms of getting the ball and forward. And the Dortmund, see, the Dortmund game, if you looked at the game, even 
my dad even said it as well. We were, we, we were poor, but we were very, very poor in the transition. Aye, definitely. As soon as Too we slow. lost the boat, was boom, boom, and you're thinking, is this an all-go? Too slow chance? to the act, right. yeah. I think that's something I, I'm going to leave you in terms of, if we sort maybe that and my bit more compact and solid, yep. and stop that, and then it gives you a chance to go forward, but I want to be positive, I might to go and get a result and be competitive, but I can only go by the evidence for what I've seen for Celtic for years going abroad, what I've seen against Dortmund, even even small mistakes at home again. See, because we beat Bratislava 5 1. People are going, what a result, fantastic. But see some of the mistakes early on we made. See if that's Atlanta and Dortmund. It's three, it's four, yeah, it's five. Yeah, it's honest, and we've seen it at the weekend. Again, I'm not want to go back on the game because we obviously spoke about it. But see, like, if Scales and Trusty are the way they were far apart with Ayi and Johnson and Kyogo and Engels, <coughs> they don't press like that. I don't just go first. You had an equation with Williams talking about Williams talking about that they're going to be on you right away like a yeah. rash. Yeah. And we are talking about how I want to be nice about this because he's only played a few games, but how apprehensive possibly that Trusty looks. Yeah. If you've got something yeah. right on top of him, then the elves are going to maybe shoot up another level. But also, and but, that's going to be the fear but also not only that, when, I, when Austin Trusty's looking ahead of him, he's probably seen McGregor and Hitati dropping deep. But if he sees McGregor and Hitati dropping deep, with two players touched tight to him, he'd be like, shit, will it? go back, and then they'll hit it long. So the, the, there's going to be an element, and that's that's what Atalanta do. They try and force you to make errors for them to go bang tra- in transition, win the ball, get it to look into Catalan and Retrigui up front. They try and limit your options. Maybe. Exactly, yeah. but also make you panic to yeah. the point that you make a mistake, and then they, they're actually trying to force you to make an error, yeah. whether you hit the ball out, whether you give the ball to them, whether you, they come in and win the ball off you, they'll try and force you to make a mistake. The problem for me is, and this is why I think it's such a difficult game, we've got mistakes in us and we've seen it. And over yeah. even even in the last few games, even game at the weekend, we've seen mistakes being made. This team will pick up on that. They try, they'll they sniff out the mistake and they'll punish you for it. And it's that also as well, I'm game. assuming they're one of the teams that <coughs> they'll pick up on if any other players just say if I talk to you, I'm nervous. Yeah. This lot will just pick up they will, on they'll, that. They'll, they'll look at it as I think, I think it's a term I like to use like a pressing victim. Uh-huh. We, we, the, if we go and look at they would have done the homework 100% and looked and, and definitely probably would have looked at Trusty and Scales and went, do you know what, see if we put pressure on Austin Trusty, he's going to, he's going to make a mistake. So the Twiggy will be around there sniffing about the Catalan be coming in there, he'll be coming inside and hoping to pick up on that loose pass. That's exactly what they'll be doing, 100% mate. So for me, I think the approach, from my opinion, needs to be, I think we probably need to be a bit more direct. Maybe not playing the pass into McGregor and Tyre, maybe looking to go beyond a bit more and try and get the ball in this area rather than try to play football here. Yeah. Because I think we could be fine. Well, I noticed, I know it, it does do well for us in Scotland, right? But I've noticed, especially the last few games, and he's not been the best the last few games, McGregor, right? Everything gets through McGregor, so they always try and get him to play it to forward. And I think maybe sometimes changing it, maybe date with Engels or date with Bernardo attack, maybe change the guy that's getting the ball to then play through because I yeah. think if, if if he's in it all the time, it's easy picking for teams because you know it's going to be trusted scale with McGregor, out wide McGregor, wide McGregor forward. But if you maybe change, it's like, like say, predictable, be a bit more dynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, I, I'm, the, all the guys will know, I'm not Admir's biggest fan, right, as yet. But his physical attributes that he could possess, his strength, He's holding the ball up. I don't know if you're saying going direct and you maybe change it and go with him. And then if you maybe are doing very well in the game, we're half an hour to go. You've got to be man to come on. But I, I think no matter what we do, I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be done to how they play. If they drop level, then we'll take advantage of it. But I think if we don't our game, and they don't their game. I'm going to be honest. I think there's going to be one winner because they're a better team. It's similar to Scotland. If we put on our game and so are Rangers Aberdeen then we mm. won the game and I think the way we're going to be playing I don't think we're on in a a killer here we're probably going to go full 3 free. he's probably trying to go in the same way and no no kind of go for what he's he's been doing I think Atalanta will right? it's he, not he, going to play I don't think because the way he's been playing the way Kyogo's form is as well he opens himself up to a lot of criticism and people is either before Kyogo that doesn't work out. People are like, why are you not playing your best striker? But we can't moan because he's trying to change something. We well, might about a change, I think so we can't moan it. I can't have it made for him, that's exactly what I think Kyogo plays. I think Kyogo will play as well. I do think he will play. But I think that... 
I, we can't be direct with Hugo. That's the thing. How many times do you watch the Celtic game and Hugo's making a run and then he's going like that, putting his hands down, going, yeah. I wanted the ball at that point. He's done it right Saturday. there and there. He's done it on done, Saturday. He's done it loads on Saturday. Look at the fair and far off goal with Hugo. Come and Jota played the uh, ball. That's right. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, through yeah. the middle. The so that that's the sort of ball I think. That's the more. We need to be more progressive in our passing, put it that way. We need to be hitting those 20 yard, 30 yard yeah. passes. See if we're going to be direct with Kyogo, right, and play the block them, then that means there are guys who are going to be midfield, or Maeda, or whoever's going to be wide, if it's going to be Kuhn or Forrest, probably Kuhn. They only need any support because if he's not getting help, you're going to have fear for a lot of boys just run him and they're just going to go at that and play it over the back. I think when, when Celtic, I think, as I said, I think it's going to be a game of transitions and I think a very good, especially attacking transition. But I think what Celtic need to do better, which they didn't do in the Dortmund game, is how they reacted defensively, going from attack to defence transition. I think we need to at least, if we're do, if say we're setting up if it's a four three three, I think that four three three needs to become a four five one almost yeah. when we're in defence, yeah. because we need to try and crowd out what's happening in this sort of zone here. So I think that we need numbers there. We just need numerical advantage to try and stop them from playing through. Because one thing that. I noticed watching some of the Atlanta games, and I watched a wee bit of them last year as well. They like to do this little wee triangle movements and stuff. I, mean, I don't know if you remember, remember Villarreal came to Celtic Park and gave us a, a lesson on how to play like this. They like to get in the little triangles and knock the ball about and spread out here and then another little triangle. That's how that's they, when that's they had Marcus Senna and Vincent Candler and, and stuff. Like and places like that. They, that, that really was some of the that. best football I'd yeah. ever seen. Like, I, remember I was quite young at the time watching that, and I remember watching that. But Atlanta do the same thing. That's how they roll, that's how they basically circulate the ball through triangles, knocking it away, disrupting us, making us frustrated. That's what they're going to try and do and make us expend energy with them knocking the ball about. So we need to try and combat that somehow. And the only way to try and combat that for me, from my point of view, is really numerical advantage. And if there's three players here, we've got four Celtic players there trying to try to win the ball back. If it's the same if it's up here, if it's in the middle, if there's two, you know, Edison and Pazilic, we need Engels, Hattati and McGregor on them. You know, try to win the ball back. So it's going to be it's going to be an interesting tactical battle, I think. But as we see in, in every game in Europe, Celtic need to be on it. We need to be on it. About the kind of obviously, I think fitness and legs will take a part in that. Now, as much as we all love Hattie, right? I think Bernardo has got more legs on him. Yeah. Cutting back. Um, Bernardo. Aye. Hattie's got more energy and more legs. I think Hattie's very good on when he's got the, the ball, ball and he can play it and he's got the, the time and the space to pick up the passes and but I think Bernardo's got more legs defensively. I would agree. Maybe I would I would agree with you on that. And I was I was so disappointed with him in the Dortmund mm. game. Yeah, no, he was poor. He was poor. Uh, I but then Hatati came on and it was almost like we got a wee lease of life for a wee yeah. ten, a wee bit of oxygen, I'd do you know what I mean? Hatati was the best player in the park or uh, at the weekend there before he got Aye. I thought he, he went I think it's gonna it's a trade off see for Bernardo and Hatati in the team. For me it's a bit of a trade off. I think there is more legs in Bernardo. But I do think Hatati's more intelligent in terms yeah. of where he's got the ball mm. and he can you know, you Hatati gets the ball and he can turn a player so mm. easily. Yeah. I think I think I'd probably prefer Hattati in this game to start and see how it, how it went, and then maybe bring Bernardo in at a later stage, mm -hmm. because I think Hattati has probably got that pass in him that mm -hmm. can get through a, a line yeah. of pressure, yeah. or he can get the ball up to Kyogo. I think he could probably do it, and he can do it with one one touch or two touches to just get the ball shifted on. So I think I'd probably go with him um, starting tomorrow. So obviously, do, so you don't think any Brendan will change any. Any of the tactics or the midfield or the way we the way we do it? I don't think he'll change I don't think he'll change the team from the weekend. I think he'll maybe run with the same team. I do think they will be aware of how open and basically I think he'll want the team more compact and compressing yeah. the spaces between the lines. I do think he'll probably look to put five into midfield and we've not got the ball. Maybe just leave Kyogo sitting up there and, and drop them in. Might even ask Kyogo to come back and help as well. Uh -huh. um, so I think there'll be there'll be tweaks to the system, I think JP for tomorrow night but like anything Brendan can only do so much sitting here and talking to the players yeah no 100% it, 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 it's, got, it's got to be up to them mm -hmm. and they've got to be making the right decisions we can't afford for trusting scales giving the ball away fucking here and they're hitting us on the break because at that yeah, yeah. point you know we're under pressure yeah. do you know what I mean and so they, see like Ryan mentioned yeah. about McGregor always picking up the ball for us and it's the same sort of circular motions with the ball have they got any sort of similar patterns in their team so the as I said, they're not. I wouldn't say they're predictable. Celtic mm -hmm. are a bit more predictable in, in right. that regard. I think you'll look for obviously McGregor coming in here, getting the ball and looking to circulate it either side. What Atalanta do to really try and throw off the opposition and make the opposition think is they move players around into that position. She might find Martin Darren might end up dropping in there 
mm-hmm. or they might alternate back to Pazilic right. or Zappa Costa might even drop in and Pazilic going out there so they rotate positions in the hope that Celtic go oh fuck who's picking up who here Aye. and then it creates that wee bit of space 10-5 yards then they can obviously progress the ball forward so I would say Atalanta and they're so good at it because when you're playing this, this type of football everybody needs to know exactly what who's doing and everybody's watching who's moving where Aye. They do it so seamlessly, and that's how so that's how good they are, and that's how they've done so well last year, obviously, when the Europa League. Yeah, I know they've got some really good individuals, but yeah. one, one in particular I, I want to touch on just now is the boy Adam Ola Lookman. Yeah. Um, like you say, he's got a nearly nice alive yeah. since he went to Italy. Um, seems to have really found a home there. I know Brendan mentioned that he tried to bring up to Celtic the mm-hmm. first time around. Aye. Um, and unfortunately, we weren't able to get him. So I think I think Lee Conger actually signed him for Atalanta. If, I'm, if my memory serves me right, oh, right. yeah. Oh, he, so, it. So he was there. He uh, left. He, said, he right, left. He said, I think he's in Saudi Arabia now. But um, Lee Conger and actually took him. So the, the the Rogers comment probably makes a lot of sense because right. they'll probably try to bring him yeah. on board. So um, yeah, it, as you were saying, look, look, Lutman's definitely found a new lease life. He went to Leipzig and didn't really work for him in Germany. I just think he's found a team that he, he's Gasparini's getting the best out of him. And Gasparin needs players, he needs wingers of that sort of physical attribute, technically attrib- attributes. You know, if you watch Adam Lookman, he's, he's chasing everything. Mm. But all, all of them are, all of them are yeah. hunting everybody down. But his speed, his power, but then going forward as well, he can score goals from pretty much anywhere. And obviously he'll he's then, on sorry, as well. he'll then force Johnson back away if he plays there, won't he? Yeah. But what he'll try and do is he'll also try and come inside and try and get close to the Tigbe, who's like their focal number nine. The Ketteler will do the same. So they've got the option to come in this way or they might even go down down the wide areas but you'll tend to find the three of them will try and get the goal rather than the, the yeah. two wingers going wide and crossing the ball in they'll all try and go towards the goal. And sometimes you'll really that kind of feel at home the manager uh, approach to a certain individual you've seen it with the kind of impact we got off players like Scott, Scott Sinclair say. Aye, 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 that's right. Playing well at certain teams he was at down south but it comes up when we, we get some of the best years of his career out mm. so that might be the case we kind of I think like it is he just feels at home maybe but if we move on to the main striker that was born in, born in Argentina he's Argentinian isn't he his grandfather was Italian uh, he scored 8 goals in 8 games in Serie A and he looks to be obviously their main threat and I think yeah. you, were to, you were going to touch upon aye ah, he's, he's, he's final details I, I didn't see much of him last year Schumacher I think has obviously been their main man there last year um, but he's obviously got a serious knee injury so he's out for a while this guy's basically just stepped in and just scored the goals for them this year he's top goal scorer in Serie A just now such a good striker he's, he's more of a I would say he's probably more of a typical nine he's not one of these false nines that you get now you know guys that are going to want to drop back into these sort of number 10 spaces he just likes to be in and in around the box and a lot of his goals. We didn't have a false nine against Dortmund. We had a false eleven. <laughs> false six. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so um, when, when, I, when I say he's like a typical nine, he'll just float around here and see if, see if guys like Lookman and the Kettler are going to have shots on goal. You tend to find him peeling off and try to pick up on a rebound. Yeah. You'll see him running in behind, and he scored a few goals this year like that. He'll just pick up if the keeper's going to parry it. He'll he's right in there. What's his actual strengths? Strengths, I would say. I just say he's lethal, mate. He can score goals with his head, right, left foot. He's so comfortable on the ball. Tall? Mm, I wouldn't say he was the tallest. I don't know what his actual height is. To be honest, it's probably something I should have looked up. But I don't know what his is. But he's just lethal with the, in that box, mate. If he gets a chance in that box, I would say you know nine times out of ten he's going to score. Very little. Definitely. Very little. Yeah. I've heard of all of them and reading about him there before we we started. Um, it kind of strikes me as sort of similar to Chiro Amobile. Aye, aye, aye. Is that aye. Type yeah, of player, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, I would say so. Technical can hold the ball up, can turn, get a shot off. He's that type of player, but he's just always sniffing out chances in around that box. And as I said, he scored a few goals running in with rebounds into the goalkeeper. He's getting the ball into feet and just knocking into corners. He's, he's a good, good player and he's going to be dangerous to watch. I think Trusty and Scales are going to have a tough night with him because he, he is mobile. Like, you know, you touched on a mobile area. He's the type of player that's trying to find spaces down little channels and things like that. So... He's going to be a tough well, one. Do you actually think up with trusting skills at play at the back for Celtic? Then do you not think Cameron Carter Vickers has a, not, a chance? Or? I don't. Is he on? Is he on the? Uh, is he meant to be? Just Brendan saying he was back training, and obviously he took no part on Saturday, as we know. But Aye. is that because I said to Ryan on the dial? Is, is that because, that because of that? Are we going to start managing him now? Are we going to start making sure he makes these kind of games? I would have for liked. Us? I would have liked for him to have, if he was fit, 
I would have liked if he was going to play tomorrow night, I would like to have had had some minutes before him now, I think, given his injury. I, I'd but still play him if I see Would the, you? I'm the same as Alan. The outlet, the way he comes forward with the ball. I agree with you, mate. He's, he's, the he's hands down the best defender at the club. He is hands and he's he's way above Scales and trusty. Uh, it's played out with the ball that I feel more comfortable with him. Aye. He comes forward more, yeah. more mm-hmm. comfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I feel a lot more confident when he's in possession of the ball rather than the other two centre half. We definitely know Greg Taylor's out because Brendan says in his presser that it'll be after the Atlanta if game. He's he's in, if he's in 100%, I, feel a lot, I would feel a lot better him dealing with Rutigui uh, in terms of the, the striker there. Um, would he be stronger than Rutigui? Like to hold him off I, and stuff, you yeah, stronger so. than anybody. I don't know many people. I'll be honest, I think Carl Vickers would probably just take him man to man and just, just stick with him. Just deal with him. Just deal with him and let Scales try and sweep up behind him, even. But um, Scales would probably have more of the ball in in that sense. I think so, potentially. Aye, 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 potentially. So. Um, if it is Carter Vickers and Gray, I didn't think he'd be playing tomorrow night to be honest, but if he is then that would be a, that would be a massive boost. We'll I don't think they are, today we'll, we'll find out later on today yeah. actually. If he's on the flight or whatever, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so well, obviously I've spoke a lot about strengths and what they're all about and how good they are. So the two yeah, for me Rutigui is probably one of their danger men along with Lookman as well. Mm-hmm. Weaknesses, they have got weaknesses, every team's got weaknesses in, in football. They've obviously got issues at the back at the minute because they've got men out. They've got two centre halves that are out at the minute. Um, they've obviously got Martin Durin sort of stepping in there. Watched a few of their games from from this season already. They won two nothing at the weekend. Didn't they they it? did. They won uh, two nothing against Vicenza, Vicenza, I think it was at the weekend. Yeah. They did get beat at home off Como, which was a bit of a shock. That's Cesc Fabregas' side, oh, and right, okay. um, that was a few weeks ago. They, they actually got beat at home. That was a bit of a shock, but. What Como were doing was they were hitting balls into the box a lot. They were crossing high balls and they weren't dealing with high balls quite as well as what you would expect them to do. So, again, that could be an argument for Adam Eder there at that point, maybe mm-hmm. at, at there. But I think for Celtic to really try to get some joy, I think it's going to be difficult to play through them. I think we'll be looking to try and get balls into the box as early as possible. Maybe even Kyogo making runs and getting balls from deep yeah. in, into the box and try and deal with it that way. They've got a really bad defeat against Inter Milan and another, another probably another they level of the two four of them in right. the San Siro so again defensively they weren't great they, they were really struggling to deal with balls coming out of the box they weren't clearing the lines quick enough so they have got some issues at the back I would say here so one thing I would say as well I don't think the goalkeepers like I'm not he's not the best but I think he's probably a weakness area as well a lot of the goals have came from outside of the box right. they've been right. having shots the teams have been having shots against them something I think we should really be trying to do in games like this as well so I think if we're getting chances and we're breaking forward try and get shots off if there's space to do it guys like Ingles and Hitati you know I mean? they, can, they can hit the target and really try to get crosses out of the box as I said they're really struggling to deal with mm. deep deep crosses into the box at the minute when it sounds like I think Maeda as well could be if he's on his game as well you're talking about obviously the back line he's doing the channels and inside the lines and I just think he's He's probably, I know Kuhn can be an out ball, but I think my Eda is, he's Just probably an out ball, yeah. I have the pace, and I, I actually think, I, I think this game, these sort of games, I think actually might suit Alex Valle, because he's used to playing these these sort of games, the, the, obviously, he playing me in, uh, in Barcelona, I think he's well, style I, the I, I, um, I don't think he's the best defensively, but again, I Aye. don't. Aye, he's no, no, no but I mean, in, in se- him, certain parts he, he's, he's played. Don't look the best defensively at the weekend. That's what I mean. But going forward, Aye. I think he's, for what I'm looking at him, I don't think he's an actual, just a defensive left back. I think he's maybe a, a left winger, but full back, so he, he up and down. And I think Maeda, if he covers him, it gives him the license to go forward as well. I just think, I think, I think we will score a goal. I think we will get joy, but. Why are not still enough to, to, to get a result? I don't know. Alan, just as you say, I was Do you remember at the weekend? Or not? Two really, really. Two no, I did. No, I did. Stop goals. I'm not saying One it was, was fair, actually cleared. No, 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 right on the line, but it was it was going goalwards. Oh yeah, that's I'm not right, saying yeah. it was bad, but there was mistakes there. Oh no, he sacked a few times and, and let the boy in. We were, we were playing against a higher calibre side, yeah, yeah. and obviously Atalanta, Dortmund previously. They'll get punished for these kind of mistakes. They get punished against yeah. Aberdeen's mistakes, so we're going to get punished kind of ten. But I think I think Ryan Aye. spot on in a sense because I understand that Vai probably is used to playing against the higher calibre of being in Barcelona, mm. and like you say, is the continental style. I think it might just suit me, man. 
you know, hold on to it. He'll be able to hold on to the ball differently if he would, he would maybe domestically, because Scottish football is a wee bit fast and frantic mm. at times and people are right on you, but he might get a bit more room. He's obviously only played a few games as well, so it's too quick, like Dusty, yeah. it's too quick to aye, judge aye, him yeah, immediately just totally now. Yeah. We still need a, we need a longer period that we're, we're seeing him. He needs consistency over him. that period, yeah. So, uh, for me, I think like most, like most football games, uh, the way you've explained it, I think mm. that the middle of the park, the battle for the, the middle it. of the park is going to be uh, monumental, I think it's going to be massive. Uh, and I think if we've got Hitati, Engels and McGregor in there, they all need to be at the very, very top of their game. Uh, and I think that's a place that we're going to need to kind of frustrate a top top level side like Atalanta and hope for the best. Uh, we all need to be at our best ah, and do. Uh, hope they're a wee bit off it. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the game. I just. I just hope at half time I'm still kind of There's no five still in the game. <laughs> aye, we're still we're still respectable. Uh, yeah. So I look forward to it and see what happens. Very yeah. fast start. Yeah. Did they get have a fast no, start? No, I think uh, that I said fast starts. Did they start fast? Start yeah. fast. Uh, <laughs> you mean man? It's fine. Did they get now? Came out the blocks flying. They or? haven't. There's been games this year they haven't done that. Right. To be honest, looking at it. Um, they've sort of found their time to sort of bed in and maybe just try to suss out what the opponent's going to do because mm-hmm. if you think about it it's almost like a chess match like Atalanta are getting into every game the way they play yeah. so different teams they're up against are going to try different things to find a solution mm-hmm. against them so they maybe take maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes and look at the opposition and go right we expected Celtic to do this but they're now doing that we need to try and combat that yeah. and maybe change mm-hmm. things up and evolve how they're doing it so I don't think necessarily they're going to come out right from the traps and they're going to hit as hard they might just sit back and just let us look at it and play we might even have the ball a wee bit at the start but what I will say is they'll not do that for long <laughs> and they will come at us they will come at us to win the ball back and as I Jesus. said they're always they're always sniffing out and all the, big, the biggest <laughs> thing sniffing out mistakes the biggest <laughs> thing for me I've noticed especially the European games and I watched the Dortmund game and the game at the weekend defensively the, the back four they kind of don't look for without Vickers obviously as well of Taylor's used to playing at the back, so by Alex Vai is still to get into that rhythm as well. Yeah. They seem very disjointed. I seen it against Dortmund, you trust in scales away there, you Johnson there, Vai there, and yeah, one long ball one yeah. long ball and Dortmund were through and you seen it at the weekend with, with scales playing high, Trusty was there, Johnson was there, Vai is there, the we pass Rogan I can't pass McGrath, but I'm maybe just looking for your side. McGrath ball was phenomenal. Yeah. But the press for Engels, Hattati, Kuhn and Kyogo was non-existent. It was a wee flick, boom, and, and Scales is there, and their awareness. And I think if you do that against the ball oh, from Manta, be punished. it's still going to be two, it'll be three, it'll right. be four. And it's my worry for that me, if we get another, <laughs> if we get another result or a hammer like that, F- it's going to be bad on the manager because oh, d- d- he's been brought in it's going to damage the club again yeah, because confidence. people think that in my opinion I think some, some maybe because we try and be positive that right, we're saying these players we're going to do this and we're going to do that but we're minerals in European competition we should not begin to any game in Europe away and go right, we're going to win we're going to do this because there's no evidence to prove we're going to get a result and mm. I want I want to be as positive as I can but I can't be because of what I'm seeing especially away from home what I've seen against Dortmund what's going to change within the space of two weeks three weeks okay, we'll that's it I know right, what you're right, right. right. what my, my feelings on it is it's going to need to change eventually so you said that for years I know, I said that about five years ago but it needs to this run needs to end eventually the, the, the no winning the Champions League ended when we beat Feyenoord at Celtic Park yeah. and then we beat Slovan and Bratislava maybe, maybe, we were all kind of like yes here we go maybe that's a Zagreb game maybe or something like that. maybe, maybe it'll maybe, change maybe it'll change in that game I'm not saying so a lot of confidence coming from all of you and I so <laughs> about, I'll, 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 about the Zagreb I'll, game I'll, or the morning aye the morning we'll deal no, with the Zagreb game I'll, be, I'll be honest yeah. that, like I if we if we come away with a two 0 defeat or something, I'd be like fair dues. Do you know what uh, I mean? I think that this this is a quality outfit. I think the thing that you were just saying there, Ryan, about talking about how disjointed their defensive line is. I think there's one reason for that, mate, and it's Cameron Carter Vickers. Okay. He's the man that's in control of that line. And when he plays, that line tends to perform better in terms of the, the way it's structured yeah. and how it moves because he's normally the last guy shouting. You either push up, you drop back, you get here. He's organising everything there. You can see that even in the Aberdeen game there on Saturday how disjointed it was at times as well yeah. and I think it's because we're just lacking his leadership at that moment there's no in that cohesion game. really there's, there's not there's no, no cohesion but you, you really need you always need 
someone in charge. You call it a, line, a line leader, defensive line leader. He's in charge of that line. Whatever he does, everyone else follows. I also think and there's a wee bit of disjointed. Well yeah, I think he is. Because he's another leader for the, for the pack. Yeah. That's been there a number of years and yeah. he's been there with that team. And I just think he performed. Certainly, for what I've seen of the both just now, I still fancy Taylor to slightly to over Valley just, now. just now, yeah, as it stands. Yeah. So yeah, so I think if Karavak is, is is in the team tomorrow, I think that'd be a massive, massive boost for us. If not, yeah, I think um, the the guys that are there need to be on their game, and I mean on it tomorrow night to yeah. uh, stop how Atalanta are going to play and how they're going to attack. I us. really, I really do hope for obviously we're massive Celtic fans and we want the team to get a result. I really hope we. We can go and put a performance in that we do get a result. If we yeah. win, fantastic. If we get a point, listen, it's, it, it keeps you waiting for, for qualifying. But if we if we go and get an absolute mm. hammer again, then... We'll be screaming out for Kobayashi to come back. Aye. Um, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be hard, I think, for some of the players to then pick themselves up again and then go again. Yeah. Because I think people need to realise as well, home to Leipzig, Leipzig are a very good team. The, the guy up front is El Sesco as well. Ah, he's banging in the goals, yeah, the way he plays. Well, Twender, oh, they're doing very well in the Bundesliga. People are expecting to, to go and win all the home games, etc. I would maybe say Bruges and, and Young Boys, if we don't beat them, they're disappointed. But yeah. Leipzig are going to be hard. Aston Villa away, that could be another hard game for us. So yeah, well, I think realistically we need to try if we can and get a point here. Um, or don't come away with a scaring defeat because. We don't want any more denting on already. With I, think, game. I think we'll know, see after 10 minutes at the game tomorrow, how the game's going <laughs> to go. If it's, if it's extra bleach or extra, extra bleach. <laughs> aye, aye, I'll be coming away. So, uh, don't it cost goals. <laughs> but um, I think we'll know in 10 minutes because you'll know how, how Brendan's got the team to approach the game. Yeah. If it's the same as the way it was going with Dortmund, then it's in for a long night. Mm. If it's, you know, being compact, dropping into that five in the midfield and trying to protect everything, and maybe looking for that outball more direct rather yeah. than passing the ball to Trusty and Scales and rotating it around that way. I think um, if we're looking a bit more direct, it could be it could be a better night for me. So it's all to do with the approach tomorrow night by Celtic. This is this is the way Atlanta are going to approach the game from their perspective. They're at home, they're going to play their way. It's all down to how Brendan obviously approaches it and gets over this challenge. Right, I think we're at the bit now where I ask you for your score predictions and team lineups. Line ups. <laughs> Am I going first? Oh, you're going oh, right, first. Okay. Uh, so, it's I, your, so it's his fault if we. <laughs> so see if I say we get beat and we win then. Is that no, you're, you're, you're <laughs> welcome back. back. Don't worry about that. I do. I do think. I do think Celtic will, will get defeated tomorrow. I think it'll be two 0 at Atlanta. Yeah. Two 0 Atlanta. Sorry. Atlanta. Yeah. What do you think Celtic's team will be? Uh, I think it'll be the same team from the weekend. If Carter Vickers is in, great. Brown, I didn't think he was close to it just because he wasn't in the squad on Saturday. But um, I think it'll be the same team as the as the weekend for me. He's a Aussie. Hi, girl. Unless Carter Vickers comes back, I think it will be the same, same team. Mm-hmm. Do you think it will happen? Uh, Michael, what? Who do you think it will happen? Hitachi will play. Uh, I'm going to be positive, right? And I'll probably, in, in, my, in my mind, I'm thinking that Atalanta will most likely beat us, but in my heart, I'm going to not. The further it goes on, the more I'm going to be saying we'll scalp them 4 0, etc., right? So I'm going to meet somewhere in between there and I'll go for a 1 1 draw. Oh, that'd be a good result. Sexy cat, right? Do you really think that'll happen? Not really, but that's what I'm saying. Be positive. I'll agree with you. I think it'll be the same team for the weekend, but I think he'll bring Hattati out and put another one. Right, okay. That's what I think he'll do. Just for the fact that we mentioned about having more legs and giving you more of a physical presence. He's taller as well. He can get on the end of headers and stuff if the ball's going high. So that's just how I feel. Not against Rio because he's quality. And I think that could change the game enough. But if we're still in the game and we're still in that fighting chance, we saw it against Dortmund in the second half. Ultimately, the game was gone. But it's easier to play. I know when you're that many goals done as well. But uh, yeah. I do think that'll be a team. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go a Celtic shock. <laughs> oh. uh, I think we won. Wow. There you go. And I'm not giving you a score. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> it's just <laughs> He's been to the BP garage chair and filled no, that up. No, no, listen, I'm going to back myself. I, I, I'm all, I'll always back myself. And, um, I think uh, this, uh, for, for me, the, this run's got to stop. And uh, aye, I, I'm going to keep saying we'll win. 
Because uh, eventually it's going to give you and something's going to give you. Eventually you'll get it right. Uh, eventually I'm going to get it right. That's what I'm sticking with because eventually I'm going to use a going to go to IP, but right. Eventually Nassau will find daily. I know you guys that I've watched this is probably thinking he's batshit crazy that guy, but no, no, seriously I do. I think they will. Listen, you've got to, you've got to try and be this. positive. We all want Celtic to win and get a result. Um, I, think, I think it will be the same team. I know I did mention Bernardo, but I do think he'll play Hattati. See how the game will go, and then he could potentially put on Bernardo. Um, I think he will play Kyogo as well. By the way, I've got any issues with that. Fact no, I, yeah, right yeah. Um, I yeah. hope Vickers is fit, even if he's 70 80% fit. I'd rather him than, than by the same shit, um, trusty, mm-hmm. um, or even scales, depending mm-hmm. on what the manager thinks. Um, I'm going to realize I think we're going to get scaled. Um, scaled as in what? Three, four, or onwards. Three or four. Uh, I really, listen, I want to be positive. It's but, a good laugh, aren't you? But listen, I, I'm, I'm you a... You want to be positive, I'm but you just want to be. Just can't be. The, the, the evidence... <laughs> the, the, Everybody at home, just don't watch it. It's all right. It's all right. The, 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 I can only go on. In my heart, right, I'm thinking... The two guys got a heart track and had them all alert and scored four. In my heart, I'm thinking... Brendan Rodgers in the jail. Aye. Aye, something like that. In my heart... Stuck in heating gas for him. He walked down the tunnel. In my heart, I'm thinking, we'll go and get a result. We'll, we'll at least score a goal I think we'll get something in my heart but in my f- realistic football brain if I've got any you don't think I've got one have you? I don't know have I? <laughs> the evidence tells us that we're not going to get anything the evidence backs up that we're going to get the ball away we're going to get pressed high we're going to make simple mistakes we're going to miss chances if we get them and I'll I'm not going to miss anything. These are lottery numbers, I know, but we're there. I'm going to need William Wallace or something, aren't we? I'm even. I'm, I'm, I'm even going to. Adrian's wall. I'm even going to. I'm even going to put a bit of action and get between off and half time. I think we're going to beat five, nothing. You think we'll get beat five, nothing? Yep. There you have it, folks. I'm, I'm, Mr. I'm, positive comes oh, again. Well, I'm, I'm, I can see the logic. If we get, by the way, see if we get beat five, man, this is, this will be his last and, game in the and, podcast. And, and my, I want, listen, five, but, but take away all what I'm saying there, I really hope, I really, really do hope, I'm totally wrong, and I really hope I'm celebrating yeah, you're, only, yeah, you're only going on with I, I can, nah, only, I go, I can only go on the evidence that, yeah, that backs it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, and well, guess what? Well, oh, I'm going to be right eventually if I keep saying my one. But I do, listen, I really, I really do hope I'm sitting with a cup of tea and my biscuits and I'm yeah. watching the game. The bleachers are in the cupboard because we've got a good performance and we're flying, we're doing well, we're marking tight and everything's fine. I'm going to get into the ballgame, I think you'll see in the first 10 minutes I've got a message for your gaffer there, he actually says you're asleep over him Tune in next week where Ryan will be talking about deaths by hurricane <laughs> and earthquakes But I do think what keep it cheery, lads. I do think the ballgame is right that it will depend on the approach If the first 10-15 minutes, if we're solid, don't get anything away silly We've got the odd chance then, right, this is a good start I think it's all building blocks, but if we start the baby against Dortmund then I think you'll probably see half a half a Celtic crowd turn on half after ten minutes because listen, I want to be as positive as I can. I love Celtic we winning. Be but we we be I, can only, I can only go on the evidence that we've yeah. seen before. And no Celtic fan, I know JP saying he's confident, but he's, I know in, in his heart he's he's no right. <laughs> We've we've no evidence. Win. We've no evidence to walk out of this game going. Yeah. We're going to get a result because we're in our heart. We're wanting a result, but in our heat we're going. Just be competitive, and we shouldn't be saying just be competitive. But I think as long as we as long as we get a performance that's close to being Celtic and close to trying get something, then I think we'll all we'll all be happy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I really do think we'll get beaten. I, 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 I hate saying that, but I can only go one. But I've seen. So yeah. you think we'll get beat heavily? Aye. Right, okay. so. Well, that, I mean that series is another. And that's the last. That's the last time I'm coming back on. Dusty or Dublin on the tail again? I'm back. <laughs> So that's, uh, have them. that's uh that's another reason why I've said we're gonna win, just to be different, because you don't want to be that one it was no I think we're gonna get hammered, no I think uh, we're yeah. gonna get hammered, no I think and then it just goes round the table. So that's another reason why I've I'm gonna stay positive. And I uh, I'm gonna go to I'm, I'm gonna you your negative Nancy and all that and you're this, you're that, you're this, you're uh, you can see but you can, but a lot of people won't come out and see what they really feel. And I'm being honest, I just looking at us and looking at what I've seen for Atlanta, what I've seen against Dortmund, what I've seen in previous years, when you go against these bigger teams, we we just do not go near them. Atlanta are on a big side though, are they? No, but in terms of quality side, side, I mean kind of sides like Dortmund but, and I think, I think from a football they perspective, side, I think they're a very good side. They're, they're, they're a very good side. I think, gen, I genuinely believe this is a harder game than the Dortmund game. Yeah. Genuinely believe that. I think, I'm hoping that the reason I'm saying that, I think we'll get beat, but maybe only be two. I'm hoping 
that they've learned from the mistakes from the Dortmund game that they don't make those errors and uh-huh. they don't make those mistakes and Brendan addresses it in that way as well um, so that's that's what I'm hoping because you know players are always learning and developing and Rodgers is obviously trying to coach them and get them better and get yeah. them up to close to where this level is at Champions League and being competitive so that's why I'm hoping that that was a, that was a harsh lesson in Dortmund but I still believe that like I think Atal- I think Atalanta is the, is the harder match in Belgium. I, I hope 100%. they get the result because then I can sit and go. I was we all do, Ryan. We all do. We all do. I, I, I want to see a result. No. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah but I agree. I agree with you as well. Maybe I've been harsh I'm saying. Just like have you been more maybe I've been harsh so. saying five nothing. Yeah. And get, but I just there's nothing in, in me saying that we're going to go ahead and, and get anything. Just, I, just, I just would never predict. Well, you can't say five nil, but say we'll score. But, <laughs> Aye, I know no, what you're saying, but I, I would don't want to I'm, predict it. But I'd never say say it. But you can only be a draw. No, but but you can only go and go on what you the can evidence. see. Evidence, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm going to be objective. I'm going to blind faith. I'm just going. I can't. As much as I want to be buying, say we're going to go and get a draw. We're going to go and win. I can't even because if I said that, then. I've seen in the past I'm, I'm kind of lying to myself I can only go on what yeah. I feel and what I feel is we're going to get a lesson again no, yeah, full whiskeys please for the ball <laughs> <laughs> and bleach as well to go there um, but, uh, no good chat again lads uh, yeah, yeah. thanks again thanks Mo, for coming on giving us your time mate no no problem hopefully, and, hopefully you've enjoyed that yeah and to you guys of yours uh, if you don't already please like and subscribe it's probably it's totally, you have to listen it's totally to free we've probably lost about 40 <laughs> subs now <laughs> <laughs> um, but please like and subscribe it's totally free and uh, it helps the channel and it helps you guys become a member of the Celtic Unrestricted View family but for now and uh, I think Alange will see you as well hail hail guys take, take care, care. Take care. Well. enjoy the rest of your week cheerio bye bye